two blocks connected by a light string. Two blocks are connected by a very light string passing over a massless and frictionless pulley. Traveling at constant speed, the 20 newton block moves 75 centimeters to the right and the 12 newton block moves 75 centimeters downward. How much work is done in part A on the 12 newton block by gravity and the tension in the string? Part B, how much work is done on the 20 newton block by gravity and tension in the string, friction and the normal force? Part C, find the total work done on each block. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start with part A the 12 newton block. So if I draw the free body diagram on the 12 newton block I can identify the forces acting on this block. So if I look at it I see the weight of the block, the force, the gravitational force due to Earth and the tension in the string. So I have to model 12 newton block as a particle, show 12 newtons pointing down, that's the weight of the block, and there is the tension pointing up. Tension T pointing up. This is the y-axis. And the net force on the y-axis should be zero. Why? Because we have motion with constant speed. Therefore, the tension uh, T must be equal to 12 newtons. Okay, so we have constant speed. So that means the acceleration is zero. So first we have to address uh, the work done by gravitational force. So the gravitational force is pointing in minus j hat direction. So it is minus 12.0 uh, newtons in uh, j hat direction. So the displacement that we have on the y-axis, delta y, is uh, 75 centimeters so it's going to be minus uh, 7.5 times 10 to minus 1 uh, meters in j hat direction so the work done by gravity is the dot product of gravitational force with the displacement it causes delta y so we have minus 12 uh, times minus 7.5 times 10 to minus 1 uh, meters. So we find that the work done by the gravitational force is 9 joules. Work done by gravity is 9 joules. And second, we need to address the work done by tension. The force of tension is in plus j hat direction it's plus 12.0 newtons in j hat direction and we have the displacement delta y minus 7.5 times 10 to minus 1 meters in j hat direction so the work done by tension will be now the force of tension dot product with the displacement on the y-axis so it is 12 j hat dot product with minus 0 0.75 j hat in meters so the work done by tension is now minus 9 joules all right so uh, in part b Basically, here I have considered um, constant 
velocity motion and therefore the net force acting on the block should be zero. So in part B we're concentrating on the 20 Newton block. So we can draw a free body diagram for the 20 Newton block. What are the forces acting on this block? The tension, there is a friction with the uh, horizontal table, the, normal, the weight of the block and the normal force from the table. So there are four forces we should uh, show in the free body diagram. So 20 newtons, the weight of the block pointing down. There is a normal force, contact force pointing up, the tension to the right and because the block is moving the nature of friction is kinetic friction kinetic friction pointing in a direction opposing the motion so uh, this is our y-axis this is our x-axis the displacement we have delta x is uh, 7.5 times 10 to minus 1 meters in i hat direction the net force on the x-axis must be uh, zero so the kinetic friction must be equal to tension 12 newtons the net force on the y-axis must be zero therefore the normal force is equal to 20 newtons the weight of the block so uh, we can calculate the work done by the gravitational uh, force so work done by the gravitational force the gravitational force is in minus j hat direction minus 20 j hat the displacement is in i hat direction therefore the work done by gravity is zero zero joules uh, we can look at the work done by the tension work done by tension uh, 12 i hat is the force of tension that product with 0 0.75 i hat this gives us plus 9 joules so tension is doing positive work um, work done by friction wfk this will be because it's in minus i hat direction minus 12 i hat that product with 0 0.75 i hat minus 9 joules and finally the work done by the normal force will be plus 20 newtons j hat direction dot product with 0 0.75 i hat direction this will be zero joules because they're perpendicular cosine 90 is zero okay so here I find the work done by friction and it is negative therefore friction is not doing any work so I have to um, put a word of caution here whenever do a calculation for work done by friction you should find that it is negative because uh, energy is lost to heat so uh, let's note that here uh, note that the work done by friction uh, is always negative because we have energy loss to heat so energy is converted to heat uh, due to the interaction between the atoms and molecules at the interface so let's move on to part C uh, find the total work done on each block 
Well, on each block, I have uh, a net force of zero newtons. Therefore, I find that uh, W net for the 12 newton block is basically 9 minus 9 zero joules and W net for the 20 newton block is uh, 0 plus 9 minus 9 plus 0 also zero joules as expected. So we have a network done of zero joules so there's no work done on each of these blocks because they're moving with constant uh, speed. So the net force is zero. Okay, to summarize, <clears throat> two blocks, 20 Newton and 12 Newton, are connected by a light string passing over a massless, frictionless pulley, but there is friction between the 20 Newton block and the surface of the table. And this 12 Newton block is not touching the table. All right, so we want to know if given that the system moves 75 centimeters uh, to the right or downward, uh, how much work is done on each of these blocks by all the forces acting on these blocks. So first I identify the forces on the 12 Newton block, tension and the weight. On the 20 Newton block, we have tension, friction, weight and the normal force acting here. In each case, the net force has to be zero because we have constant speed. So uh, for the equilibrium condition, I find tension must be equal to 12 newtons. And here the kinetic friction must be balancing tension, 12 newtons. And the normal force must be balancing the weight, 20 newtons. So the displacement for the 12 newton block is in minus j hat direction minus 0 0.75 meters j hat. The displacement for the 20 newton block is plus 0 0.75 meters i hat direction. So work done by gravity minus 12 newtons in j hat direction, dot product with minus 0 0.75 meters in j hat direction gives me nine joules because they're in the same direction, cosine zero is one. And for the tension, because the tension has the same magnitude pointing in the opposite direction, I will find a sign change here. This will be minus 9 joules. For the 20 Newton block, the displacement is on the x-axis, therefore work done by the normal force and the gravity should be zero. Work done by tension is plus 9 joules, pointing in the same direction as displacement. Work done by friction is minus 9 joules, pointing in opposite direction to the displacement. And here I note that work done by friction should always be negative because we have energy loss to heat. When we calculate the total work done on each block, it adds up to 0 joules and it should because the net force on each block is 0 newtons.